So yeah, it's a new character. I don't know about, I don't know how I feel about that. Just because it's like new character. It's like, it's been a new character throughout the whole series. And I kind of want to like, kind of like with Shepard, you just grow to feel like Shepard. And you grow to love him and stuff like that. Or her. I guess, I mean, they could pull it off. If they do it well, they could pull it off. It could be just another character, right? Um, it's going to be about the Templar and the um, mage. What do you call it? Battle? War? Fighting? Whatever. The way that Dragon Age 2 ended. And a lot of people hated Dragon Age. The ending for Dragon Age 2. And I was just like, what? I mean, Dragon Age 3 is coming out. Did you not think it was going to end on end on a cliffhanger? I was expecting it. It ended on a cliffhanger. So people just hate that it ended on a cliffhanger. It's like, it wasn't finished. What's It wasn't meant to be finished. It was like, like Empire Strikes Back. It wasn't meant to be finished. It was like, what? And there's another one coming. So that's what happened there. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be about that. I, that could be interesting. Um, it wasn't my, my favorite topic. I preferred the blight and the whole dragon thing in Origins than I did in the, the whole Templar and Mage thing. But hey, it, that could be epic too. And then there's still that whole secret about about uh, Flemeth and the dragon and everything. So that might play a part. I think Dr. Was it Mazuka or the other guy? The, one of the two doctors that created Bioware said that they're looking into Skyrim. That they really that they re they really like the way that it's that it is, and they said it's also going to have a lot of things. I think players are going to find compelling from some of the games that are out now that are doing really well with more of an open world feel. We're big admirers of Bethesda. And okay, this was Ray Mazuka. So they're looking into Skyrim, and they're they're actually thinking about maybe making Dragon Age an open world. And this is still just them saying, oh, that would be cool. It would be weird, in my opinion. It wouldn't be bad. It would just be weird to have a, a Bioware game be an open world. But it would be freaking awesome. I've always said, get Skyrim and Dragon Age Origins and put them together, and the baby would be like a freaking masterpiece. I would love that. Because for, for you to have that intensity of Skyrim, and that open world, but just put it, you know, have have these characters that uh, have these like three dimensional characters that you could talk to and they follow you and have a party and not just freaking followers, like a party, like group of people that that you become friends with. Uh, but in the in like a in this this whole open world, it would be interesting, very very interesting for me. But they have to do it right. It's like, if EA wasn't behind them, I'd be like, that. that's going to be brilliant. There, be a Bioware could do it. Bioware could do it. But the problem is that they've got that stupid e EA shadow right above them. Like, I could totally see them, like, this huge, this huge shadow behind them where they're just like, it sucks. Because Bioware already has so much potential but you could totally tell that EA is pushing them down. The setting is going to be Thetis, of course, um, but you are going to be able to go to more places, more continents. And they did mention that, I think they said something like a place that's a little more French or something like that, which is implying that you're going to be able to go to Orlais. And as, as awesome as that is, I've never been a big fan of Orlais. I guess I just don't like the Orlesians. <laughs> There's just, I don't know, I because I've read the book, the first book, um, and that went into the whole, uh, it went into Orle Orlesians and the way that they are, and I was, I, I was just like, these guys are jerks. And then the, 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 the DLC for Dragon Age 2, Mark of the Assassin, I think it was called, you, you, you kind of got to see what the Orlesians were like. I didn't, I didn't like the Orlesians, but it would be interesting to go to, to Orlais. I would I would love to go like to Antiva. That would be awesome. I don't know if they said anything about Antiva. They they highlighted the map actually. Was it the lower right hand side, I think? Let me look at uh 
Dragon Age map. Or lay actually I I don't I don't remember what they highlighted. I know that they wanted Orlay's off to the left of Fort for Elden. Actually you might. I would love to go to Tevinter Imperium. I, I think you're gonna go to that middle area, which is the Tevinter Imperium and Tiva, the free marches. We've already gone to the free marches though, haven't we? I think we went there in Awakening. And Ravane in the top. I would like to go there too. And the Anderfells. Dude, if they really if, if they did this in open world, that you should you should be able to go to all of them. To all of this this whole map. That would be so amazing. Even to Parvolan, that would be freaking awesome. You probably wouldn't do that, but just the whole the whole Thetis, like Anderfells, Tevinter Imperium, uh the Free Marches, the Ravane, Orlay. Yeah. That'd be fun. That'd be so good. That'd be a ginormous game, though. That'd be so good, though. They should... If they want to make this an open world, they should be working on this game for more years. Like, at least two to three years. Because if they're like, hey, it's coming out in 2013, I'm going to be very worried. I'm going to be like... As much as I want to play it, I don't want this game to be rushed. I don't, because it already has so many things against it. EA specifically, because EA is always like pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, and like for a release, um, and everything feels rushed, kind of like Dra uh, Dragon Age Two and Mass Effect Three. It just everything feels pushed and rushed. Um, that I just uh, I really hope they take their time with this. Um, a lot of people are saying that that Dragon Age Three is going to be revealed, most likely going to be revealed in this year's E Three. I really hope it's not. At least, not la not like a release date. Just maybe talk about it a little bit, like they did in PAX, but not a release date. I'm so scared to hear that they're gonna say it's gonna be released in 2013. I'm like, I mean, unless they've been working on Dragon Age three for for they can't because they they were working on Dragon Age two. I mean, they stopped working on Dragon Age two DLC. Because they said that they were working on a game, most most likely Dragon Age Three. For the same team to be working on a game, it's got to be Dragon Age related or something like that. So, I don't know. I just, I just really want them to take their time on this. We've got we've got burned so much that it's just like I don't want a decent game. I don't want a game to like I say like I talk about Dragon Age Two. Oh, that was interesting. That was pretty fun, but. Same thing with Mass Effect 3. Oh my god, I loved it. It was so good. But I don't want that. I want it like to be like Dragon Age Origins. Like, oh my god, that was freaking amazing. That was so good. Dragon Age 2, it suffered in the things that I loved. It suffered in its story. It suffered in the characters. Oh my god. It suffered so bad in the characters. And that, that, that just did it. That just did it for me. Like, that was the biggest thing for me. For them to mess up the characters. I was like... Even more than the recycled environments. Whatever. Freaking recycled environments is stupid. But for them to ruin the characters. To have such dull characters. And the romances are like... I don't know who to romance. Like really? This is all I have to choose from? I wanted to go single. Like I was like... No, I don't, I don't like any of these dudes. But it's like I said, it's it's in limbo. It's like they could be saying all these things and making us go, oh, yes, like I just did right now. When I looked at the map, I was like, oh, my God, if it's an open world. <gasps> but if they ruin the story or if they ruin the character development or if they just if you just feel that it's been rushed, any of that stuff just makes a game feel disappointing, in my opinion. Skyrim has done so well because the team. Bethesda dedicated themselves so much to the game. They spent years making this game, like over five years, I think, making this game. And people were always asking for Elder Scrolls V. That's why it's so good, because they, they took their time on it and they wanted to make it good. They, they didn't, they wanted to, and then the people that make this, these games are fans of these, the, the, of, of the games. And you could just feel it. You could feel it in the game. You could feel that they absolutely love what they're doing. 
and that's how Bioware is. But the thing is, like I said, there's just that freaking EA right there. <sighs> so yeah, I really hope that they don't ruin this chance that they have to redeem themselves. Uh, Mass Effect 3 really, really has dragged Bioware through the dirt. And I mean, for EA to, to get but a worst company and to be associated with that it's like i would i would quit i'd be like you know what forget this <laughs> i'm gonna go work for bethesda <laughs> that just sucks it sucks for bioware i feel really bad for them because i'm just like i love bioware and as much as I, I want to like slap them in the face and say, how dare you? I still, it's still like, it's the company that I've always loved. It's the company that I've always said, I would love to work for Bioware. And as much as I would still love to work for Bioware, I, I'm still like, you know, you see EA there and you're just all, um, you just have to stop and think and be like, um, so yeah, Dragon Age 3 is a way for Bioware to really redeem themselves and to, to gain back that confidence that they kind of lost. And if they throw away that, that opportunity and they keep on doing things um, like giving in to EA, it's, it's going to suffer. They're going to be constantly criticized. Constantly criticized. Oh, um, I, Dawn of the Seeker. This is a magazine. Um... This is the back of it. I already have it pre-ordered, by the way. It's 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 like half, over half off on Amazon right now. I don't know if it's still half off. It comes out May, May 29th, so it's almost, what, like a month? Oh, wow, this is the Blu-ray. Blu-ray DVD combo. Dude, you guys should go pre-order this. If you want to get this, you should pre-order it, like, right now. It Okay, Dragon, Dragon Age Dawn of the Seeker Blu-ray Blu DVD combo. Um, it's originally $34.98. And right now it's fifteen ninety nine pre order, pre order price only. It's guaranteed pre order price. And for those of you that have Amazon Prime, it's Prime. The DVD on its own, it's twenty four ninety eight. Right now it's twenty four forty nine. So it's only a few cents off. And the other one is like a Blu Ray and DVD combo. Dude, come on! I have that one pre ordered. You guys should do that. This is the the anime, by the way, the Dragon Age. I really don't know what, um, how this is gonna do, but. I mean, if you're a Dragon Age fan, you really want to get this. You really want to see it, at least. Especially if you want to know more about what's what to expect for Dragon Age Three. This is going to tie it. I'm thinking. I'm thinking that she, the Seeker, from Dragon Age Two, is most like maybe going to be a party member for Dragon Age Three. And there's this other guy, this dude right here. I guess he's a love interest or something like that. He looks like he's like all into her. Her. I don't know. But I think he's probably going to be. A character in Dragon Age 3 also maybe a party party member or something so I would definitely watch it at least if you're not gonna buy it but if you are gonna buy it look into Amazon because that is a really good um that is a really good offer that's going on right now so I just pre-order it just pre-order it before you miss out and then there's the rumor that um, Dragon Age is most likely going to be a multiplayer I, I'm almost 100% sure they will do that, which is very disappointing for me, but they probably will do that. And they were all even talking about it maybe being a player versus environment versus player style multiplayer, um, which means that uh, where you're taking on real players and AI enemies in the environment and hazards. I don't want to see Dragon Age turn into that, but if they want to freaking tack on another multiplayer whatever whatever you can't stop them that you couldn't stop them from mass effect so i i'm not even gonna try that but the freaking campaign just do it right just do it right and take your freaking time don't be like it's gonna come out next month guys shoot me now and just kill me forget it just no don't I think that's all I wanted to talk about. There's some pretty good articles. Um, I'll put the link in the description that I, that there's a lot of articles. I'll put that link. So let me know what you guys think about Dragon Age 3, how you feel about this whole issue. That's pretty much it. And thank you for watching. I will talk to you guys later.